What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Okay, here we are, Scott. I uh, actually came over here and drug it out so you could uh, see it. So it's a 1941 Dodge WC. It's a half ton truck. Actually, very, very original. And so I'll just walk around it and talk about it and just show you different stuff so you can get a different idea. I love the front bumper on the thing. Super, super cool with these bumper guards and the hooks. You know, very neat. And uh, it's blue and, and uh, black, like I said. Here are these signs over here. Cherry City Garage. The building is uh, actually still there. It was in two different locations, but these would go along the, the edge of the bed. And then this one would go up in the front. So right up here in the front, that little one would go. And then the long ones would go right here. So pretty neat but uh, we'll just walk around here and take a look at the fenders you know the trucks not rusty but it has a little bit of a couple little things but nothing major see here the art deco very neat you can see right down here at the bottom of this fender where it meets up against the running board there's a little tear but pretty minor and uh, big thing here look at the cow how nice the cowl is. I mean, excellent. And you can see here, it would wax. If you wanted it to, you can see the blue underneath there, right where I took my finger. And you know, just these badges right here, like 150 bucks a piece. On that last truck, that one, that dairy truck I was telling you about, I actually had to get a new windshield frame. This one actually looks really good. And it cost me 900 bucks, so it's fortunate that that's, that's looking good. You can see a couple little bubbles in the bottom of the door. The rest of the door looks nice, but the cab is in really nice condition. You can see here, very, very nice. We'll walk around and I'll show you the interior. You can see here, you know, just the oxidation. We're right here, I, a while ago I rubbed off. You can see the blue. The running boards is what I was talking about, whereas where most of the rust was this running board here. You can see there. Yeah, the rest of the running board looks good. I mean, you could probably repair that pretty easy. Fender looks good. You know, a little more beat up in general. You can see here, but I mean, it's not all dented, it's just the, the paint's missing a lot. Original wheels all the way around it. You can see the top of the roof looks good. It's not all dented or anything. You can see just some separation in the glass. I mean, honestly, you probably don't have to change that. I mean, it looks kind of cool that way. I think there's some cracks in the uh. Uh, this glass, actually that's better than I remember, maybe it's the other one. Oh yeah, the other one's got big cracks on it. We'll show you the interior in a minute. Take a look back here, you know, tailgate. Cool bumper on the back. I like these big, big nails to hook stuff on, you know, a chain. Because he would, uh, his story was that he would take the truck and uh, out when a customer's car was uh needed to be come back and so they would tow stuff with this truck actually with the chain and so we'd loop the chains through here and up around that one you can see here this is really common on these and uh this is getting kind of destroyed but what a lot of people do is cut this off and put a pipe on there and uh, weld it back on look back here you know this fender is real nice too Probably a little cut that was right here where they kind of welded it. Yeah, the fenders, fenders in good shape. Again, original wheels all the way around it. Just kind of get out from the distance so you can kind of see it. 
You know, it is a short box, which is desirable. Right here, you can see some rust in this fender at the bottom. Again, really repairable. So basically, the rust that I'm seeing, it's been a while since I've looked at it, is this fender, a little bit in the door, and that running board on the other side. Because this running board actually is really nice. You see here the cab. Again, is excellent. Very, very good. <clears throat> You know, the window gutters. I mean, they don't have stuff like this over on the East Coast. And this is pretty amazing. You can see here the window's cracked. You know, the fender looks good. Looks like there was some damage right here at one point. They kind of beat it out. You can see a little crack right there. But the headlights, I mean, it's complete, like I said. Let's get another view. Walk around it. So you can just get views from the distance. Pretty nice. We'll go ahead and look at the inside the bed. You can see here, someone was putting, uh, I think it was poor 15 or something like that, up around here on this rail. And uh, the wood actually goes underneath of it. And so actually really easy to put a bed in this truck and to just get the slats and the wood and you're ready to go. You can see a little bit of rust right there in the front. You're probably just going to weld little patches in that. Not do much to it actually. But it's nice that it's, it's all there. You know, if we ship it out to you, I'll make sure this is all bolted down good and, and stuff. It actually has new exhaust. See that? And a muffler. That was put on a little while ago. We'll go ahead and look in the interior. Like I said, the seat, really, really, really nice. You know, you don't have to do anything with that. The dash is actually in good shape. The blue is actually pretty brilliant in here. Looks good and looks like inside the jams here. Very good. Here's a sticker from uh, 1972. Look here. I mean, this is this is actually nice. Original door panels. You know, that's the brilliant blue that the truck was. You know, so if it waxed up, it'd probably kind of look like that. You know, bottom of the doors. Excellent. Actually, I'm thinking about having seller's remorse now that I'm walking around this more. Let's see up here the wiper. You know, headliner's gone. It's all ripped up. They put just another, I don't know, they put a little piece of wood up here, paneling, but uh, headliners are, I think they're about like $300. I got it, uh, one from Roberts. Look underneath the seat. surface rust back here but again looks good you can see behind the cab corners you know nice you know original key all the switches floor looks good you know again just some minor surface rust but nothing bad I'll walk over to the other side Again, you can see this door, you know, again, very nice. You can see the VIN right there, 9214042, and it's a WC. And look at the jams on this thing. Holy smokes. Really, really nice. And look at the bottom of the doors again. This is a clean old truck. Look inside. Actually got the original glove box in there. It's beat up, but it's there. 
factory heater, which is nice. Take a look at the floors. I was going to take that seat out. See the seat behind the cab. There you go. That probably helps you a lot seeing this. And that's really impressive. See the seat pan there. You know, in great shape here. We'll take a look uh, underneath the hood. I was going to try something real fast. That's the uh, the cow vent, so that opens. I don't know if this is going to open or not. This is the crank for the windshield. Actually, there you go. Look at that. See, it actually opened. I was trying to do it with one hand, but so the crank actually lets that come out, which is nice. And so it probably just needs to be lubed more, but a lot of times these are just frozen solid, so you can't even open it. You can see this needs to be put down a little bit here. It just actually clips there on the bottom. I think there might be a screw from the inside too, but we'll go ahead and take a look underneath the hood. lay it down real nice here we go you can see the firewall looks good factory distributor look at the horns those are cool original radiator I don't think from what I was told before the uh, this engine engine isn't the original uh, motor and I heard it was from the engine that's in it is actually from the mayor's wife from the 50s from a car she had and they ended up putting it in this truck so undocumented story that's just what I heard but the cowls looks looks real good take a look at the other side here you can see underneath the hood you know all original you know this thing it's original paint you know, it's probably had some touch up maybe on the fenders in a few spots, but this is original paint on this truck for sure on the blue, 100%. And I don't question it at all. You can see here in the engine, horns, everything looks, looks in pretty good order. Fan belt. I'm gonna scrape that in there. So looks pretty good. You know, I've never turned the motor over or anything. I haven't uh, haven't even tried. So you know, it just looks looks nice and complete. So hopefully that gives you a good look. And I think the trucks pretty nice you know it's been a while since I've looked at it I actually like it better today than a month ago so see you later